Those who love Tesla, love Tesla. Those who don't perhaps haven't spent enough time in one. I just had a P100D for four days and found it both stimulating and challenging. At times, it was downright thrilling. It's not completely revolutionary, not like making the jump from typewriter to word processor, though I did make that jump, but it's similar and you have to approach it with a willingness to educate yourself about everything on it. You can't just get in and drive. Well, you can, but then how do you turn on the headlights? The Tesla Model X is definitely the most high-tech stuff that has ever owned the Earth. The lunar rover is higher tech in some ways but is not on Earth. It's also the quickest, once you jump through the half hour's worth of hoops you have to jump through to achieve the much vaunted ludicrous speed more on that in a minute. The P100D is the top trim level of the Model XR's was loaded with almost everything Tesla engineers could throw at it, except Autopilot, which we had tried out earlier on another Model X and generally liked in Fremont, future drives you. Point. Model X's are divided up by battery sizes, now that they've dropped the 60D, you can only get the 75D with 75 kWh of battery, and the 100D with 100 kWh. My test X was the top of the heap P100D, wherein the D stands for the dual motors that give it odd and the P stands for performance. Output from the three phase, four pole AC induction motors adds up to 603 HP and 713 pound feet of torque. Yowzer. The P100D included the much publicized ludicrous speed feature that allows launches from 0 to 60 that take just 2.9 seconds, if done right. Passing maneuvers of 45 to 65 miles per hour are accomplished in just 1.4 seconds, Tesla says. In one way, it's like a Brabus G-Class or a W12 Intake. Except that in addition to being stupid fast, it's also all electric. And that interior, boy. Look down and there's that 17-inch capacitive touchscreen through which you control everything, except arranging the loan to buy the car. Look up and there's the largest glass panorama roof in production anywhere. You can get seating for 5, 6 or 7 in your Model X. Those Falcon windows are convenient as well as being superb parlor tricks. Sure, they'll go crazy or stop working or something in 10 years, but you're probably only getting a 3-year lease. What do you care? Like the sedan version of this platform, the Model X is almost all aluminum, with some reinforced steel here and there. It rides on airbag suspension at all four corners, just a little higher off the ground than the Model S sedan. My test X came with an EPA range of 289 miles which, combined with a nationwide network of fast charging superchargers, meant range anxiety could be virtually eliminated. By comparison, the regular 100D gets to 60 miles per hour in a downright lackadaisical 4.7 seconds but has a range of 295 miles. It's amazing, alternately loved and loathed, depending on who you're talking to and which television news they watch.